Hi there. I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting in Needham, Massachusetts. Um, and we do this podcast, I guess you can call it, um, but it comes out in an email uh, once a week. And today I wanted to, we talk about a lot of things. And today I thought I would talk about um, weights of yarn because someone said to me the other day, what's the difference between sock and fingering? Well, it's fingering is a designation of the thickness of the yarn. That's my interpretation of it. Sock yarn and fingering are the same thing, but sock yarn is often a yarn that has some um, nylon in it. For instance, if we looked at this yarn, which is called is a um, this is a sock yarn from Malabrigo. It's called um, sock Malabrigo sock, but it doesn't have nylon in it. It's a hundred percent superwash wool, and um, you can use this for socks. May not wear as well as a yarn that has nylon in it, and nylon would give it strength. So um, let me see if I can find one that has nylon in it. So this is one from Arakania, and this is Huasco Sock Kettle Dyed, and this has 25% nylon. So if you use this as a sock yarn, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer lasting. Most sock yarn patterns have a reinforced, a little bit of a reinforced heel, but you could also add um, another yarn to it to reinforce the heel. So when someone says to you sock yarn, they could be talking about um, a sock yarn that has a yarn that has um, nylon in it or polyamide, or just a superwash yarn. That doesn't mean you couldn't use a fingering weight yarn which is, and when I say fingering weight, I'm talking about seven to eight stitches per inch. So it's quite fine. And you can use, generally if you're making socks, people would be on a one, a US one, two or three, depending on a one, two or three, depending on how you knit. You know, you may be a really tight knitter. Um, in the past, I knit a lot tighter than I do now. And I was usually on a three. Now I've gone down to a, a two. Um, so that would be a sock yarn, but you could get a pattern. Now there are a lot of patterns out for sweaters and that require a fingering weight yarn. So you could use any of these yarns that you would use for socks. Now, some people prefer not to use a superwash yarn. That's a yarn that's had the outer scales removed so that if it gets washed in a washer um, and it gets um, tumbled around and put in a dryer, it won't um, felt. Uh, you could use, as I started to say, you could use a non-superwash yarn for socks, but you would have to hand wash them. This is one, this is um, alpaca, but it has some polyamide in it, which is a synthetic, a nylon. And um, I think it's a nylon. Anyway, this um, would be lovely for a sock. It would feel great on your foot. However, um, you couldn't throw it in the washer. It would shrink. Um, I mean, I think if you put it in, I wash a lot of my um, woolens in the washer on delicate cycle with a little bit of, um, with a little bit of um, eucalyn or another wool wash and on delicate cycle and they come out just fine um, but then of course you wouldn't want to put it in the dryer because it will felt so you can use any of these yarns for a sock if you prefer or if you're doing a sweater um, or a scarf or a shawl um, you're probably not going to be well you might be on a three but i find that when i'm a US three. When I'm doing sock yarn for a shawl or for a sweater, something like that, I generally bump up in the needle size so I don't have quite as tight a knit as I would for a sock. Um, so I prefer 
on a shawl because I want them to be drapey and lovely that I prefer to be on a size six needle. So when someone says to you, oh, it's made in a fingering weight yarn, people groan and say, oh, I don't want to be on a size three needle. Well, you don't really have to. And if you notice um, in some of the sweater patterns that are out there now that call for fingering weight, they don't necessarily knit on a two or a three. Some do, but it depends on the finished product that you want. Incidentally, we have a new, uh, a bunch of new Madeline Tosh that has come in um, in the last day or two with more springy colors. So moving over here, we have more things. These are um, fingering weight. These are alpaca and silk. Now this you wouldn't want to use for a sock, but it'd be lovely for a shawl or a sweater. Um, this again would be seven to eight stitches to the inch. And depending on what you're making, you would use a different yarn. Um, so moving along, we have another yarn that you could knit at a, um, this is 26 stitches over four inches. So that's moving more into a, what we call a sport weight. Now, when people talk to you about, um, talk to you about weights of yarn, it's lace is the thinnest, then fingering, then sport, DK, worsted, chunky, bulky, super bulky. And there's air and weight is in between worsted and um, chunky. But when someone says to you, something is um, a worsted weight, you really need to look, and I've said this before, you need to look at the stitches per inch because people's definition of worsted and DK could be very different. So you always, always, always have to look at the gauge. So this one is a uh, purported to be a sport weight. It's very, very thin. So I think you could even knit it a little bit tighter or looser, depending on what you're, what you're making. Um, moving along, these are some lace weight yarns. And these are anywhere from nine, eight, nine, ten stitches to the inch, depending on what you're making. Um, and generally they're done on a, depending again what you're making, on a one, could be all the way up to a four, if it's a loose, lacy kind of thing. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We also have a sock yarn that um, has patterns in it. So if you look on the label here, these are dyed so that they create this pattern. And depending on how you knit it, the pattern may look a little different because of the size. If you think of the size of your leg or your foot, it's going to change where all those patterns show up as you knit. The same thing happens if you are knitting a, um, a variegated. So this is variegated, which is different from something like this that has a pattern, an actual pattern to it. Um, I may be rambling, I'm not sure, but forgive me if, you, if I am. Uh, this is variegated, but this will, depending, suppose you're doing a sock for somebody with a size eight foot, and I'm doing one with a sock size, size 10 foot. Where the pattern, and this isn't pattern, it's variegated, but it may pool in different places. It might stripe a little bit. Um, and then when you get to the heel where it's a little, the ankle where it's a different amount of stitches, that co those colors will change how they um, show up on the sock. Um, so be aware that um, depending on what size you knit, what size needle you're on, these are always gonna be slightly different and there could be pooling if you want to use a um, use this for a sweater, perhaps, you might want to um, do every other row. So two rows from one skein and two rows from another skein. That will avoid any kind of pooling. So this is our fingering um, section in the shop. We actually have a huge amount of fingering and we have hedgehog fibers on the way. Um, we've expanded, we have now have La Vienna Bee, 
and um, we'll have more BSK and over here the Madeleine Tosh, lots of Alegria and we have these um, which have sold pretty quickly, these Alegria Fino um, mini skeins, we'll have to order more of those. And up here we have the Isayer which is beautiful for shawls and sweaters and up here the um, Harriet Fine. Uh, so we have a big selection. Um, there are lots of fun to knit with and next time maybe we'll move up into the sport weight yarns in the shop. So I hope you have a great week of knitting. Um, come and see us on local yarn shops, shop day on the 30th. We may have some things going on here um, and we appreciate your business and look for us online as well. So have a good one. Thanks. Bye.